I'm really excited to be able to, to just step in as a player, which is a rare experience as it is, let alone a player in my own world, which is a very unique thing. This is the first time I'm kind of, you know, handing the reins off of, of a part of Exandria to somebody else. I have no idea if we're going any place we've been before or to see corners that we didn't get to poke around in. And I'm curious to see it sort of given to us through the lens of a new GM. When we were talking about wanting to find a new GM to have this space to tell their story, Abria was hands down all of our first choice. She is such an incredible storyteller and she's just an incredible addition to the team. She had such a uniquely fantastic flair for for really expressing narrative and drawing you in and and following the player's instincts and weaving the story out of that magic of what's happening now as we found ourselves kind of coming to this particular project I, there really couldn't be anybody else that I could think about trusting it to you know uh, it's been cool watching Abria sort of find her sea legs ju just for that chair and that corner of the table and then finding her you know her her vibe with all of us too. It's really cool. Let me jump in because I have a lot of thoughts because there is nothing both cooler and more actually terrifying than having like being given the gift of Tal'Dorei, which is like a place that I'm familiar with, but then I have to sit next to the dude that made it. Well, I'm like, here's what I think of your place now. And I'm in charge. And if I change something, mine's true. <laughs> like, it's exciting. It's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Abria Iyengar, and I am the Game Master of EXU, Exandria Unlimited. Uh, some of you may know me from other games and streams that I've been on, including Dimension 20's Pirates of Leviathan, uh, Pirates of Salt Bay over on Saving Throw, um, and 100,000 one-shots, because I stream everywhere. It's my whole bag. I'm just extremely online. I think that's what it is. I, I think it's crazy that they picked me, but I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> We're gonna get halfway through and they're just gonna be like, um, we don't know what happened. Somehow she got in, but it's just the imposter syndrome. Uh, my name is Amy Carrero. I am an actress and I came to this world through my voiceover work. I play Elena of Avalor on Disney Plus and She-Ra on She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. And I am now a cast member on Exandria Unlimited. <laughs> Until someone kicks me out to dip into something that is new, that is brand new, that still calls on all the skills that I've had m most of my life. Uh, incredibly exciting, and it's so much more fun than I even thought it would be. Like, I knew it was gonna be fun, but like, I didn't know it was gonna be this fun. So um, as soon as we got those first few clean playthroughs uh, out of the way, it, it all falls together, and I, I'm literally like, is it Thursday yet? Is it Tuesday yet? When do we get to play again? I'm pumped. <laughs> My name is Robbie Damon. I'm a full-time professional voice actor, rad dad, undercover nerd, theater kid, and now a D&D player for Exandria Unlimited. What? What is happening? I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been excited for Robbie to join um, since we started talking about making this new show and 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 picking friends to join us. He's quick on his feet, he's charming and hilarious, fucking phenomenal actor. And he, he really is just sort of everything that I wanted in someone who was gonna be spending a long time with us. I was waiting for the right time to go ahead and kind of fold him into our, our geek space. And when we were discussing the development of Exandria Unlimited, it, it was the perfect time. It's the perfect time. With Amy, she is coming at this with like 150% energy. And the character that she's been toying with in these early games has been riveting. She came in with such a big concept that it ended up being like this sort of fundamental heart of what we're doing. And I think that's a cool thing for her character and like going through that arc, but also just like a, a huge testament to someone who's not experienced at the form, but is an excellent storyteller. I adore her. I think she's incredibly smart. She's so funny. And she's taken to the game so quickly. I got the first, how do you want to do this? Which honestly, like I didn't think it was going to mean so much to me, but it's really one of the highlights, I think, of like my whole professional career. The experience of, of explaining how I was going to finish off this character, everyone, it was like, I was taking all the help I could get, and at the end I was like, this is literally like someone walking you through your first orgasm. Like, I just didn't know how to do it, and it felt so 
fucking awesome. And then at the end, I was just like, all right, Chinese or Italian. Like, it was just the best. I will remember that forever. I, I don't know what's going to happen in the first game because we've already played so many games that I feel like would be ready to uh, put onto the internets. I can't wait for our audience and um, our critters to meet this new class. And if they don't already know Abria, they will, because she's incredible. And to meet Amy and to meet Robbie, and I think our audience is going to love them. And I cannot wait for this game. I have so many flowers to bring it to her. You know I'm in love with you, right? Case closed. Hello, please. I would like to reign! Life needs things to live, but I am no friend to the Empire. In this realm, there are unlimited stories to be told. And just as many storytellers to tell them. <laughs> <laughs>